but for now let's head into our second area of the game the awakening wood shall we i'm excited new areas means new things are abound maybe we'll encounter another new type of pikmin soon one can hope to the awakening wood here we go day three is upon us and we already see lots of things strewn about the world i'm excited very excited But first, Robot must speak. Good morning. It should please you to know the Purple Pikmin are lodged safely in my hull. The confines of my in interior seem to suit them perfectly, though they do occasionally tickle me. Stand in the ring of light below me and press A to call the Purple Pikmin out. Okay, so if you want your Purple Pikmin, you gotta just go there and call them. You got it, dude. Well... I may want their power, so we're going to bring them. Bring them. They're joining the party. We'll try to be careful with them since we only have ten of them. And I don't think you can get more of them through normal means. I think the only way to get purple Pikmin in this game, which is one of the downsides of this game, I will pull it out, po point it out now. You can only get more purple Pikmin via the flowers, which is a little disappointing. Louis, has Olimar instructed you on the peculiarities of the Pikmin creatures? The Pikmin form groups based on colors when disbanded. Grabbing Pikmin with A will also cause them to group by color. Now for the bonus lesson. First, hold A to pick up a Pikmin. Then while holding A, press R to swap. I already learned that. This is the first time you have heard this. Olimar, remember to properly train new employees. My bad. I mean, I technically already knew how to do that, but that's cool. Carry that shit back, boys. All right. We're making more Pikmin. Also, are these... The Clovers? Are these the Clovers or no? I guess not. I was hoping to get some of that sap, man. I want to, sp want to get some speed going. Get some flower Pikmin, you know? Oh, God. Kill them! Yeah. Take their dead carcasses back. Return them to whence they came. Alright. So right now our goal is to just fuck shit up, y'all. Alright, so here's something new. These. New kind of plant. Um, you basically just have to get the Pikmin to get up there and get that shit. Where the hell is the sp Oh, okay. I was in the wrong... Oh, you can have them climb up, too, if you can't... Yeah, okay. They can just climb up there and get that shit down. I got you. Alright, once they've cleared it, you're good to go. Y'all can, can chill. Alright, I don't know what those red beads do, but I'm pretty sure they do something useful. That's why I'm collecting them. I don't know if they're extra... Um... I guess we're gonna find out. Hold on. I don't really remember what they do exactly, so let's find out. This is astounding. This red berry contains a ultra spicy essence. It does not appear to have any monetary value, but I shall research potential uses for it. Bring me more specimens. All right, so we don't know what it's for yet, but collect more and maybe we'll find out. So that's what we shall do. We shall collect all the balls. And I think while we're here... Since we're right here, let's just... Oh, shoot. Hold on. Get him! Yeah, give me that sad boy. Oh, they sucked it down already. Oh, well. Well, our first group of flower Pikmin. Very small group. There's only going to be a couple of them. The Pikmin that drank that yellow nectar instantly matured into a flower Pikmin. It appears to have enhanced motor skills. What a wondrous nectar. How intriguing. Like plants, Pikmin mature from leaf to bud to flower. Captain Olimar, you must share the information you have with your subordinate, Louis. I don't want to. Anyway, I'm going to have them all just attack this wall. And we'll switch back to Louis, and we'll have Louis uh, get the other group together, and we'll uh, do some more exploring. But first, did we find out what we can use this for? Captain Olimar, my research on the red berries you discovered has yielded a powerful potion. Behold the ultra spicy spray. Although it is untested, I believe it will have spe spectacular results. Spray it on all your Pikmin by pressing the down on the D-pad. 
When necessary, I can produce one bottle of spray from ten berries. Press plus to contact me and confirm your berry count by pressing the left. The left. Okay. It says spectacular results, but what kind of results are we talking here, bro? What kind of spectacular are we are we implying here, Brody? I don't know. But anyway, I'm having the other dudes break down the wall over there. Meanwhile, we'll have Louie take this squad of 25. And let's do some more work. We got more monsters to clear out, so let's do it. One down. Don't you fuck with me, boy. You want to come at me? You want to come at the king? No, you don't. We'll use this opportunity to multiply, if you will. All right, y'all can go get some more. Got some more Peliposies. We got some more of these fucking guys. Kill them. Those are the weak-ass maggots that don't even actually do any damage. All they do is look at you. They look at you funny. Alright. Collect those pellets. Carry them back. You know what to do. Alright. Anything up here? looking for things. Do we have a map? We do have a map. Okay. So that's cool. <laughs> they stare at you menacingly. So dangerous. Does this have any markers on it at all? I guess it doesn't. Also, oh. Spoilers. There's something over there. There's something over there. I guess we'll make it a goal to try and get over there today. Oh, there's probably some nectar in here. Here you go. I think we might have hit that hundo mark, so no more Pikmin are going to spawn. Oh, the we have a problem. The onion has ceased ejecting seeds. Is it malfunctioning? Interesting. It seems the number of life forms within the onion has increased. Didn't you note that no more than 100 Pikmin will venture onto the planet at once? But I currently observe only 95 on the surface. Could there be wild Pikmin somewhere? There could be, actually. Let's hope we can actually get to them today. Hoping so. Breaking down that wall will be a good step in the right direction. Oh, I thought maybe I could leave this guy picking stuff while I go. Get the rest of the switch over to the other homies. I think they're done breaking the wall down, by the way. Alright, y'all nectar loving fools. Get it. Yeah. Alright, we got a bunch of flower pickmen off of that. Good stuff. So are these that okay, they are done breaking the wall down. Good, good, good. All right, well, let's get to it then. Ain't nothing to do it. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. You know what I'm saying? Get them. So I don't really remember what the goal is with these guys, but did he actually kill my Pikmin there? I think he did. Unfortunately, we lost a Pikmin on this day. All right, there's eight. Is there any other walls we gotta break down? Okay, we got a paper bag we gotta push down. Let's see what this how many this takes. Honestly, the purple ones will probably weigh this down quick. Purple ones are required, essentially. Alright, well let's get Louie over here with the rest of the perps. We didn't lose any perps, did we? God, I hope not. We're gonna need them all, I'll tell you that. Wait, can I not pull two out? So this says I have, I have, this is I have 98. It's so weird. Anyway, hurry up and carry this fool. Hurry up. You're slow. You're slow. Carry it faster. Hey, what's up, Flammy? You dreamt that you slept for 12 hours and then you woke up. You dreamt that you slept for 12 hours? Interesting. Keep up, Pikmin. You're slow. Live fast. Die slow. So, I'm not sure we'll be able to get past this unless we get some more purple Pikmin.
Because I think 100... Yeah, because only... So, math math tells me 10 purple is, 10, is 100. You know what? This is a waste. This is a waste. We'll need more purples. That's a waste of time. Because if I don't have more purples, I won't be able to uh, smash down on the bag without... Oh! Oh! Dickbag! Was not expecting you! Get fucked, homie! I don't even know what you are, but you get fucked, homeboy. Damn. Oh, I have purple Pikmin on there. I'm like, why is there so many pi Pikmin on there? There's not. There's just heavies. Heavies carrying it. Okay, there's another dungeon here, which we're definitely going to go into. We need more perps. Uh, I don't think I can touch this. Ooh, there's another globe over there. So the other half of the, of the globe is over there. Um, I won't be able to break that wall down without some special situations. Uh, I just want Louie to go off on his own or Olimar's fine too. I just I don't need them both right now. Actually, yeah, I do. I want to kill this other Bulbor dude. Hold on. Never mind. I want to kill this other Bulborb. Anyway, you played hostages again yesterday. Apparently, you can beat the game just by sniping all the terrorists. Well then, GG. Um, Flammy, glad you're here, by the way. I would like to do your stream redemption this week. Is there any particular day of the week that is good for you, like weekday-wise? Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Any of the days should be available unless something changes. What day works best for you? Because I'm okay with doing it on any of those days, but I'd rather pick a day that you're most available. Kill him! Yes. You have Wednesday off, so is that the is that the day you would like me to do your redemption? Because that works for me. How much does the strawberry require? Five. All right. Well, let's collect this strawberry. Anything else I can get right now before we go into the dungeon? Let's see what's over here. Looks like the other side of a bridge I can't do anything about. So, looks like we're pretty much stuck going into another dungeon. Um, cool. Should I put all my purple Pikmin away before I go into the dungeon? I feel like I might need them. Wednesday works for you? Alright, perfect. Then Wednesday, we shall be doing the Flammy Redemption. I believe the game is called Off. You'll have to remind me like what I can play it on pretty sure I'm gonna play it on an emulator but I don't even remember what console it was on collect the strawberry quicker we have a dungeon to go do homies I probably don't even need this many Pikmin but you cannot really generate any new Pikmin in a in a dungeon you can only use the ones you brought and change them into different colors if there's flowers in there by the way this is a sunseed berry not a strawberry get it right 10% of the debt recovered. Yeah, I only needed a thousand for that. So, yeah. It's actually an RPG Maker game translated from French. Someone redeemed off. Yep. Someone named Flammy. He redeemed me to play off. Now, I'm not going to play the whole game in one sitting. The whole point of the redemption is to play the game for one stream. So, unless I love it, which, you know, could happen. It's only going to get a one stream play unless somebody wants me to come back to it again. But yeah. Alright. Into the next dungeon we go then. Biological sensors are reacting violently. The readings are ominous. A beast of unknown power lurks in these depths. A large Pikmin group would be a reassuring. My sound senses are picking up hostile roars of mini beasts. Expect dangerous and encounters. Senses are also showing extreme heat pockets. You may need flame resistant Pikmin. But my reco records indicate no such data. Are my records incomplete? Oh, don't worry. We have fire resistant Pikmin. They're already with us. They're red. Anyway, we're going in, y'all. So basically, if it warns you about it being difficult, there's going to be a big baddie down here, and you're going to want a lot of Pikmin. And like I mentioned, you can't generate more Pikmin down here. You can only change their colors if the flowers are down here. So make sure you come up in here with enough Pikmin. But it's only the second dungeon. It shouldn't be too bad. It's called the Hole of Beasties. Should be fun. Here we go. Sub-level one. Here we go. 
So we'll just have to be careful about, apparently there's fire down here, amongst other things. We'll uh, try to be careful about losing purple Pikmin. It's tempting to almost leave them behind until we need them, but yeah. All right. Get those guys. Don't let them kill your Pikmins. Those little white bastards are easy to kill, but the purple ones are the ones that can chomp my boys to death. So let's make sure they don't get chomped. No chompies for you. Alright. Oh shit. There was a purple boy. He popped up. What a dick. I didn't see him. Well, he murdered one of my Pikmin. Hopefully it wasn't a purple one. I wasn't paying attention. Damn it. I lost my first Pikmin, y'all. Alright, here's our first collectible. A treasure. It looks like a D-pad from a controller. Spoiler alert, I think that's what it is, but, you know, we can make our own observations. But, yeah. Anyway, there's our, uh, there's our ride at, into the next area, the next sub-level. But let's make sure we explore this whole sub-level before we go. We've only checked one direction. Let's see what's going on over Mia. Dead end? Dead end. Never mind. Nothing over here. Nothing up my sleeve. But we got a treasure. It's a D-pad. Another hundo. It's called the Stone of Glory. It's so glorious. It sends you all directions. No one can hate on the Stone of Glory. I got a stone of glory. And I'm missing one of my Pikmin, dude. There he is. All right, well, I guess that's all for this floor. So bye-bye then. Next floor. Let's go. Whee! I'm on the edge of glory. I don't know why I got that song stuck in my head. I'm on the edge of glory. All right, y'all. I see a purple flower over there. We can get some more purple Pikmin. But first, what this? It looked like egg. Bust egg open. Egg have nectar. Okay. Get all the nectar, boys. Load up all my flower Pikmin. Hell yeah. Look at all these flower Pikmin all of a sudden. Hell yeah. Give me more. All right. So how many y'all are not... Not flowers. Whichever one's y'all's not flowers, make you flowers. <laughs> egg, egg yolk. I mean, I guess technically that could be egg yolk, but I think it's just more nectar. You know, as this game is full of. All right, so we want more purple pigment. We want to make as many purple pigments as we can because you know, the opportunity only arises when we're in dungeons. So we want as many perps as we can get. What are you doing? Boy, you need to throw reds in there. I guess I did it. I'm throwing one red in there. But yeah, you, the, the purple Pikmin are definitely limited because you can only throw five Pikmin in there at once. So you can only really get them... You know, in groups of five. All right, anything else to return, or are we just as good on this floor? Ten more perps. That should be enough perps to go past that paper bag, by the way. So we definitely want to make sure we don't lose any purples when we get out of this floor, or out of this dungeon. But anyway, floor two, that's all it was about. Getting some nectar. Making some purple Pikmin. Pikmin murder is pretty funny. Is it? Is it funny? You think it's hilarious? Hmm. Sub-level three. Here we come. Not sure how many floors this place has yet, but we'll find it by exploring them one at a time. All right, we got some fire going on. So here's what we're going to do immediately. I'm going to dismiss y'all. You don't stop to the beach, y'all. You don't stop. So the red boys 
can, uh, oh, I, I honestly didn't remember them being able to destroy the flame things, but that's awesome. Let's have them do work then. The purple guys can stay behind. Damn it, one, my one Pikmin that died was a purple Pikmin, wasn't it? That makes me sad right now. Because I'm, I have, I had 75 Pikmin with me that were red. Make sure you destroy that one too. I see a Nintendo disc over here, which is pretty funny. It was a red one that died? Well, let's see. First of all, they're trying to collect a thing in here. Let me have them do that. How about this? Oops. How about this? Let's just see. Should I, do I have 20 purples or not? Nope. It was a purple. Because I only have 19 purples. It was definitely a purple one that died. Which makes me a little sad. I lo out of all the Pikmin I could have lost, I lost a fucking purple one. I'm a sad, I'm a sad boy. Alright, wait. How many Pikmin do I need to carry this fucking thing over here? Hold on. First of all, it looks like a Mahjong to tile, y'all. It definitely is. 150 for a Mahjong tile? It's a Strife Monolith. Alright. Oh, did I lose a purple one on the surface? Oh, that's possible. I, I might have lost a purple one on the surface. That makes me sad. How many does it take to carry that? 15? Easy peasy. Get collecting, y'all. I'll just throw as many as it'll carry that bitch. Alright. Alright, I'll let Louie uh, regroup everybody here. Wait till they collect that disc for me, and that will be all for this floor. Yes, it's a Nintendo disc. See? It says Nintendo on it. It's a disc. Floppy disc, to be specific. See? It's a Nintendo floppy disk. It's probably for the Famicom. Um, the Cosmic Archive. It's probably for the Famicom, because the Famicom did have a disk drive. So, it's probably a Famicom thing, if I had to guess. But yeah, there you go. 230 more puntos, pocos for me. Punto pocos for mas. For us. Alright. In that case, I think we're good on this floor. There was also an N64 disk drive. Oh, I guess it could be an N64 thing. That's true. That's true. Could be. I honestly don't know what it is specifically because it's very Japanese and I did not have one in the U.S. Not that we didn't have it in the U.S. Or maybe we did. I actually don't know. Either way, floor 4 or floor 3, sub-level 3, we're done here. Bye. That one failed, though. Nintendo add-ons have a tendency to fail. A lot of them do. None of the disc systems actually left Japan. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. Because we definitely didn't have any disc system shit here that I'm aware of for Nintendo or N64. Alright, so we got some more fire shit to take care of here, which means separate. Bring the fire boys. Oh, shit. Purple boy, you wait. You go hang out with the rest of your purple boys. I got fire shit to take care of. Hold on. We're going to clear out all the fire so you don't have to deal with it, purple boys. Good work. It's good work, y'all. Any more fire to take care of before we deal with this bowl borb over here? Nothing over there. Nothing up my sleeve. Anything back here? Nope. Alright, well. I can take out the bull lords without the purple boys, I think. Get him! Nice. Ooh, and he had an object inside of him. Should look familiar. Hell yeah. Alright, anything else around here? Ooh, there's also this. What What this? easy to carry <laughs> it's so light he can carry it by himself that's awesome well if you couldn't tell what it was by the fact of how it looked it's a game and watch clever a dream architect to be specific 280 more pocos hell yeah all right get some more purples which we are absolutely going to do we want all the purples 
early game you want to get as many purples as you can at some point you really don't need a ton of purples in this game so you don't want to go too overboard but whenever you have the opportunity there's no reason to come out of these caves without having made a bunch of extra color poke poke pokemon pikmin to help you uh carry stuff especially the purple ones because they help you carry shit and it's very helpful in the meantime we also got a nintendo card i think that's just a novelty thing it's just an ace of spades specifically it's a luck wafer of course what else would you call it certainly not a card the disc drive would have technically allowed n64 to play disc games thus allowing more room for games for than cartridges don't know what the floppy disc is alluding to probably the famicom because it's a floppy disc if i had to guess anyway there's some nectar here we definitely want to load up and get our get our our boys who aren't nectared up nectared up the N64 disk drive was still a magnetic needle when optical media would have allowed much more storage. Yeah, that seems like a complete waste of time if you're not going to make it be able to hold more space. It might have been part of why, uh, you know, PlayStation ended up happening, you know? Anyway, I think uh, we have every Pikmin on following us flowered up, so I think we're good to go. We're good to go. To the next sub level we go then wait well, there wasn't anything over here right no okay cool all right i'm gonna go on a limb and say the next floor is probably gonna be the last one i can't imagine there being more than five floors already this early but maybe maybe i could be wrong or sub level five Oh, it doesn't say Final Four, so maybe not. Maybe it doesn't say until we actually land? I don't really know. Nope, it says it right there. Final Floor. Also, holy shit. Are you guys seeing this? That's a big fatty, whatever it is. I don't like it. I feel like we should, uh... Red Pikmin should be our, uh, our charter here. All the purple boys. You can come over here. You can come over here. I'm going to let Olimar, the man, the myth, the legend himself, take on this battle. It looks like a big bull boar, but he's huge. Oh, it is like a big bull boar. He just has a giant body. I don't really know what the, what, what the strat is here. I'm going to be real with you. But here's our big baddie, so I guess we'll give it a go. Oh, he just crushed that entire group because I didn't know that was about to happen. Summon a bitch. Well then. I did not plan well. Yep, I think I lost uh, 25 Pikmin there. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure I had 75 reds. I'm glad I didn't throw any purples in there because I would have fucking lost some good shit there. I wonder if purples are a good thing to throw at this thing. Let's, 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 let's test that out. It might stun him. Crap! Crap! Well, I probably shouldn't have done that. That was an unfortunate choice that I should not have made. I'm fired. Damn it. Kill it! Kill it! Fucking dick. I'm a little disappointed in myself for making that choice to kill or to use purples for that. Oops. <sighs> How bizarre. This device is emitting black light. It must have been ingested by that creature. What an absolutely repulsive life form. Our return to Hakatate cannot soon come soon enough. Alright, well. 
Fucking dumb on my part, I tell you that right now. The purples did some massive damage, but I also fucking lost ten of them. Which is a lot. I need those motherfuckers to get get uh, across that one fucking thing. I don't even know. So if I have 15 purples, which is what I have now, that's 150. I'll need 50 more Pikmin. So I should be able to do it. But man. Purples and reds was a good combo to fight it, but I did not plan well in terms of uh, its counterattacks, which was just rolling over my Pikmin. I didn't expect him to actually throw them behind him and then crush them like that. I probably shouldn't have thrown so many at him is what I shouldn't have done. That was just my bad. I fucked up. A smart boy would reload his save, but sometimes you gotta learn from your mistakes. Prototype detector, huh? Well, it's a love tester. You want to test your love on somebody. You just gotta hold the little sensor thing and see what your love compatibility is or something like that. I forget how these things work. It's an old ass fucking quote unquote toy. This contraption seems to react when it approaches treasure. I will connect it to my radar. Processing complete. The treasure gauge is now fully operational. It will now appear on your monitor. The needle will move right as you approach treasure. Sweet. So I think we can use that to help us know if we have any more treasure on any particular floor. So that's cool. Damn, I lost 40 Pikmin altogether. Goddamn. Anyway, the sensor deactivated because we got all the treasures on this floor. So that's good to know. From now on, we'll have a sensor to know whether or not we're missing anything. So that's helpful. can't believe I lost 40 Pikmin, man. Like, if they were all reds, I would be less sad about it. I'm really sad that it was purples involved, man. I think I lost 10 purple Pikmin. Or at least 9. Sad face. Oh, well. And we're already over 20% complete on our uh, goal there. 2,258. So that's pretty dope. We also completed that cave, got all the treasures, so we won't need to go back there unless we really need purple Pikmin, but I'm not going to worry about it. I lost 40 Pikmin, man. That was disappointing. If I would have known what that dude was going to do exactly from the beginning, I would have been more cautious. I should have just been cautious from the beginning and seen, like, watched his patterns. Because he was pretty easy. I just, I went YOLO too much. It's really what it comes down to. All right, 20% of the debt has been recovered, y'all. Hell yeah. All right, so the day continues from where you left off, which is nice. Um, I definitely need more Pikmin now. Because I fucking lost a bunch. I'm going to need 50 reds on top of the purples I already have. So I can go push that bag down. I might still have time to go get the new Pikmin type if I hurry. But I must hurry. All right, hold on. I need. I have enough here, I think, because 15. I only have 15 purples, right? So combine that with the rest. That'll be way more than enough. So that should be enough to push down this bag over here. Get up there, purples. Throw them out. And push it down already. You know there's enough. Jesus. All right. Has been pushed. Good shit. All right. I'm not losing any more purples right now. So the reds, you're going to be involved in this fighting this thing. Damn it. He yoinked one of my dudes. Sad face. He yoinked them. Alright. Oh, there's another dungeon here. Holy shit. I might be able to do another dungeon on this day, actually. Astounding. My metal detectors are reacting violently. What could be down below? If you find trouble below, press plus to contact and press right on the radar screen. The exploration pod will drop its loot to make room to carry you, Louie, and the Pikmin to safety. So yeah, if you need to escape a dungeon early, you can. You just have to uh, leave all your treasures behind and do it all over again, basically. What does the spicy spray even do? Maybe it could have helped with the boss. Shit! It was a perfect time to test. You're right, and I completely fucked up. 
and did not test it. That was dumb of me. All right, well, I'm a little sad right now because you just made me remember that I didn't do that. Oops. All right, well, let's take these Pikmin and regroup. Son of a bitch. I forgot about the spicy spray, man. I think it would have powered us up and made us a little stronger. I think that's what it does. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think that's what it does. Oh, we didn't take the body back. Um, what do I want to do here? Purple? How much does it need to carry that back? Ah, screw it. I don't need to carry it the back, that back that bad. I'd rather just go in the dungeon. Olimar, Louie, the sun will be setting soon. Call all the Pikmin to you. This planet's native nocturnal life forms are ferocious and therefore dangerous. Load your Pikmin into the onion and yourselves into my hole so we can make take refuge in low orbit. Pikmin and your squad will enter the onion on their own at day's end. So call them all to you. Yes, I'm aware. I'm aware. I have all 95 with me. So we're going in. We should have Pikmin, uh, I think it's telling me I should have purple and, and fire with me, so I think that's what it's telling me. I'm actually not sure, uh, but we're going to go ahead and go with it. Let's do it. Anyway, what's up, stat statue of locusts? Welcome in. The spray raises attack speed, you think? Also, have you noticed that depending on the captain you are, the music is a bit different? I actually did not notice because I can't hear the music that clearly, but I could, I could, um, turn up the volume a little bit so I can hear that. But welcome to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Glad to have a fellow Pikmin fan up in here. So, okay. Um, I think I know what's going to happen in this one. It's called the White Flower Garden, so let's just note that immediately. That's the name of this dungeon. The White Flower Garden. And one thing I like about this game is some of these dungeons are going to start to look kind of interesting. They're not all just boring ass looking cave areas. You're going to start getting some interesting looking areas. And, uh, well, here we go. Get the purple motherfucker. Don't let him eat your Pikmin. Murder them quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Kill them all. Let them know that we don't play, ho. Alright, anything else here? It does have a treasure. Like, the treasure meter is still blinking so there must be something and there's the something we found it collect it all right so yeah now we have that sensor we get to learn how that works it's gonna just ding 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 until we have everything on the floor basically i think it'll just gray out once we have everything Doom, 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 doom. Obviously, it makes more noise when you're nearby the object, which is also helpful if you're trying to locate. All right, our next treasure is... It's like shoe polish, if you read that. High-quality shoe care. It's for black shoes, specifically. It's an alien billboard. Nice. Established in 1920. That's some old shit right there. All right, we got all our Pikmin. Let's get the F... Off of sub level one. And as you saw, the sensor just grayed out, so that means we have everything on this floor. So we out. Peace. So we out. So we out. So we out. So we so we so we so so we out. Flower Garden, sub level two. Gather your Pikmin. Gather them. Oh boy. Okay, I already see. Oh god. Stay away from me, fool. I know what you are. I recognize you, sir. I know what you're about, sir. And my red Pikmin will handle this with ease. Come at him! Make him. Let him know. Can the Pikmin be knocked off the map? Like, are those Pikmin... No! 
That Pikmin fell off the map. Son of a bitch. I didn't know if I could get him back or not. Son of a bitch. So anyway, they picked up that gem, which is a petrified heart. I basically, it looks just like a like a gemstone or whatever. That's cool. I didn't realize they could get knocked off the map like that. Oh, man, I have to be careful about that. Son of a bitch. Okay, noted. Noted for future reference. At least I'm thinning the herd of the stupid Pikmin. Oh my god. Jeez, whammy. Pikmin hater. Also, I'm getting burned. Ouchies. Punk bitch. Usually it's four for a bottle cap. Yeah, okay. So you gotta be careful. You can't throw Pikmin off the edge here. It's not like the cave area, which was just like, hey, it's a cave. We, we're good. We can throw Pikmin all willy-nilly. Now you're in a treacherous above-ground area where if you fall, if you throw Pikmin off the edge, they will fall and die. Learning the hard way, man. Learning the hard way. Gotta love it. Alright, another bottle cap obtained. This one is for coconut water, if you if you like that sort of thing. It's a drought ender, specifically. Alright. Got all the Pikmin. So far we've lost four Pikmin in this dungeon. Preferably no purple ones. I probably shouldn't even have brought the purple ones in here with me. I think what happens when you go into a dungeon... It tells you what kind of Pikmin you should take with you, and it didn't say anything about purples or needing anything, like, for heavy weights. It basically said I needed fire and some purple-looking bubbles, which we'll see what that means soon enough. Because it was not an indicator that we needed a purple Pikmin, I'm pretty sure. White Flower Garden sub-level 3... Collect my homies. Let's get on with the show. Get on with it. Get on with it. Uh, get on with it. So I think we can't really throw them off the edge in this area, which is nice. Alright. Well, we've seen purple flowers, but now we have white flowers. Big surprise, since it was called the White Flower Garden. How can a flower so deep underground bloom so robustly? How mysterious. This place is conspicuously warm. Could it act as a kind of hothouse for foliage? What an interesting development. The Pikmin look as if they long to be tossed into the flower. Well, let's oblige, shall we? So let's make sure we're only throwing uh, red ones. Because purples, we want to save all those guys. Especially since we fucking lost so many of them. Um, I'd like to throw some green ones and not the flower ones, but whatever. We want to make as many of these as we can. But big surprise, white flowers yield white Pikmin. Let's check them out. They're terrifying. They got red eyes. They're terrifying. These are demon Pikmin. Incredible, a white Pikmin. It is tiny but looks distinctly swift. Its eyes are an unseemly red. This type of Pikmin was not mentioned in your notes, Olimar. It must be an entirely new type. Our data record on this type is a blank page, since a certain captain never documented them. Wow, thank you. You must experiment and make detailed observations for the benefit of our future generations. Cool. Alright, so white ones. They have their own special properties. Um... Since we didn't learn any of that from the description there, we'll just have to figure it out for ourselves. I think I remember at least a couple things they can do. Mainly has to do with that whole purple purple gas looking shit, so uh, yeah. Oh, you had a joke, Flammy. Oh shit, Nectar! Nectar! Give me Nectar! So right off the bat, yeah, white white Pikmin are already fast inherently on their own, so they don't really need the nectar. Nice to have, obviously, but just saying they don't need it. Oh shit! Apparently they found something to dig up, hence why we have the the radar. Amazing! 
The white Pikmin have unearthed a treasure that was completely buried in the ground. Perhaps those beady red eyes of the yeah, yeah uh, this allows them to sense objects buried in the dirt. Okay, so I actually didn't know that. That's not a property I remembered. Apparently, white Pikmin can help dig stuff up, and once they find it, then everybody can help. <clears throat> That's actually one I did not remember. I don't remember all their properties. I'm gonna be real with you. I truly don't. Get that nectar, boys. Alright, I'm gonna let you regroup all your perps over here, boys. Alright, well, other than that, collecting, collecting that item, is there anything else on this floor? Let's take a quick look over here. In the meantime, sweet roll of tape, bro. The gamma tape, as it's called. Super stick textile. It's basically duct tape. Different color, but basically duct tape. Alright, I don't I don't think there's anything else. Yeah, the radar turned off, so we got everything on this floor. That's good. So I think we're good. We got everybody. We're good to go. I'll make sure I have everybody together. I think no matter what, all Pikmin on the floor will go with you. You don't, you can't really leave anyone behind, I don't think. But anyway, yes. Delving deeper, y'all. We could test that theory by throwing one Pikmin on the ground and just leaving him behind to see what happens. But am I that much of a monster? I don't think so. White flower good in sub-level four. Alright, well now that we have the white Pikmin, they are the key to finishing this place. Let's see what other properties they might have that'll help us out here. Besides digging things out of underground, I'm pretty sure they have more uses. Like, immediately I see all these purple poison situations and I don't want to deal with it. So, I think if you throw one of these guys in here, yep, they don't get hit by this poison red gas stuff, so... They can help destroy all that shit. So, we have the, f the fire resistant ones, and then we have the poison gas resistant ones. AKA the white Pikmin, so that's pretty dope. I'm already fine with red Pikmin dying. I think it's too late to consider if you are a monster or not. Damn it. I'm a monster, I'm sorry. What have I become? I'm so sorry. I'm only fine with it because I can easily regenerate them. That's the only reason. How much does this cost to carry? Only six? We can do that. The white ones can carry those bitches. They're fast. Alright, anything else I need these bitches for? Let's take a look. Huh. There might be something to unbury on top of this. We'll see. But anyway, we got some type... Uh, Tight? Does that say tight lip balm? Night lip balm. Night lip balm. Extra moisture. Survival ointment, as it's called. That's funny. Let's see if there's a Pikmin thing to unbury under there. Up there. Okay. Well. I don't know if there's anything else to find around here. I mean, there is, because it's still ding ding ding. Bing, bing, ding, 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 at me. There's still gonna be something here. Oh, there's an object up there, I see. Okay, well, one thing first. We can destroy this, so we don't get poisoned on the way out of here. Uh, can I throw... Oh, you know what? Unburying that mushroom? I guess they are. Get them, white Pikmin. Get them. Help unbury that shit, boys. Unbury. Man, that's taking a long time to unbury that mushroom up there. 
Now, goddamn. Alright, I'm gonna get away from that jingle jingle and just re regroup everybody else over here. Okay, they got the mushy. They didn't need any help. Cool. It was only a fiver, but we good. Mushroom obtained. Only 30 for that. It's called the Toxic Toadstool. All right. Yummy. I fucking hate mushrooms. All right, but we got all our Pikmin gathered together, so we're good to go. And this floor is clear. Hence the radar turning off, so we're good. Sue. Let's see if this one ends on a five-floor situation as well, or if it goes longer than that. We're going to find out together. Sub-level five. Don't be afraid. There's only five sub-levels. <laughs> it's the final floor, y'all. Epic music. It's the final floor. All right, what are we dealing with here? Let's find out. Do we got a big creech? All right, that plant doesn't do shit. Oh boy, uh, we might have a creech to deal with here. So here's the thing, I don't remember what we're dealing with here, so what I might do is just walk around by myself and look around and see. The song the Pikmin sing when all the treasure is found has got to be the best thing. Is that the Oh, it's one of these guys. Okay. So, okay. If I remember correctly, there's a method method to the madness with these white Pikmin. And the method is sacrifice. I know that sounds wrong, but check it. I can also use my spicy spray. Good call. Let's do that. They're ready, y'all. They're spicy. Astounding. The heads of the Pikmin are glowing, and they seem extremely agitated. The ultra spicy spray appears to increase Pikmin speed and attack power. What discovery? Sweet. All right. Check it, though. I want him to eat... That white Pikmin. There we go. Watch what happens when he eats a white Pikmin. Hell yeah. You eat a white Pikmin? You're fucked, homie. Intriguing. The Greta showed symptoms of poisoning after consuming the white Pikmin. Perhaps white Pikmin excrete a poisonous substance when chewed. How fascinating. We don't want to waste all the white Pikmin that way. But we'll do it. Aw, oh, it didn't poison him enough. Like, really. I thought that was going to poison him way more. That's fine. Get him! Let him know! Spicy spray for the win, y'all! Damn, we fucked him up. Hell yeah, dude. Spicy spray wrecked some tits. It wrecked some tits! Wow, his head's just laying there. That's fucking hilarious. Well done, Captain Olimar. You've defeated the freak that freakish half-bird, half-serpent hybrid. Oh no, don't tell me that treasure was ingested by the beast, wasn't it? I mean, it was. Let's collect it. Victorious! Collect his head. We'll take your head! Alright, we got some more nectar eggs here. We'll take that as well. Don't mind if I do. Make sure all my boys are flower pikmin. Alright. I would say that overall went pretty well. I did sacrifice one white Pikmin just to kind of show that how that worked. But I'm not going to do that too often unless a monster really is tough and it will be very helpful on. The five man knapsack? That's hilarious. It's a fucking glove. But five mans, man. Five mans. This material looks comfortable. I will use it to patch the boss's favorite sleeping bag. Seam test, conclusive, cross-stitching, successful. The knapsack is complete. When you have a unoccupied time interval, press R to take a nap. So, huh. So you can pass time by taking a nap? That's interesting. 
I don't know if I'll ever actually utilize that, but it's a thing. Old bowl. All right, well, we came in here with 95 Pikmin. We leave with 90. I feel like we've successfully accomplished something good on this run, finally, after losing 40 on the last fucking dungeon. Beep, 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 beep. I'm definitely going to want to collect some more of that spicy spray. That shit was useful. But we're done here. Looking good, baby. Looking, looking good, baby. Ooh. Give me all the things, baby. Give me all the things, baby. Ooh. We're already a quarter of the way. Past a quarter of the way. Almost a third of the way. Almost 30% of the way, we'll say that. We're 28.7% of the way. Having that 10,000 Pocos. I mean, I did say this game was longer than the first, and it is substantially longer overall if you want to complete it. Um, but getting that 10,000 Pocos doesn't seem to be like it doesn't seem like it's going to take super duper long after overall. All right. Well, anyway, we're good. End of day is upon us. We have all 90 of our Pikmin. I guess we can try to get a few extras before the day is actually over. Sure. Why not? Ooh, let's get some of these red berries, too. Oh, shit. Kill these fools. Yeah. Myrtleize. We're coming back to this this uh, this area on day two. Or day day four, rather. So. Oh, man. Those, jet, those, uh, those, those, uh, those things didn't reset. That's lame. But, yeah, we're coming back to this day. Or this area on the next day. So, it's all good. I think we have all of our Pikmin accounted for. I think. Oh no, there's still a white boy over here. Don't lose him. I think he was still in the vicinity of the onion area. We wouldn't have lost him, so we're good. Luckily for you, there's a respawning source of spicy balls of them just outside your base. Indeed. I will get some more. I don't know why they didn't respawn just now, but I will collect some more the next day for sure. But yeah, our next day is going to be using those white Pikmin to do some work. Because... They can withstand poison. And if you remember, we've seen a couple different poison clouds in a couple different spots. We should be able to utilize that to uh, make some progress on the next day. They probably only regrow during the daytime. I mean, I did go in the... I went in the cave earlier, the first dungeon on that day. And then when I came out, those had respawned already. But they didn't respawn again, so I don't know. Should have picked them up when I had the chance. That's really all I can say. Would I would have if I had more time, but I kind of ran out of time there. But anywho, that's another successful day. We got a lot of treasures on that day. We got two full dungeons done, so we picked up a lot of stuff. So almost 2,000 freaking Pocos in one day. Very successful, I would say. All right, overall, we gained five purples because we lost 10. Damn it. We, we made 15 whites, but we lost one using it for poison. And overall, we gained 12 reds, even though we lost a bunch. So, you know, it's cool. We can have the summary of how many we lost. 48 to battle. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Let's read our mail. How's progress, Olimar? Remember, you'll never get anything done if you sit back and watch from afar. Press CR for a close-up view of the action. You got it, dude. You got it, Presidente. Okay. Well, day three is in the books. Day four is upon us. We'll go back to Awakening Wood. But first, break time. 